Hello, thank you for taking the time to learn about how to use Clubrunner. In this video, we will be going over the process of creating your own custom email templates and how to edit any existing ones as well. An email template is a reusable email that can be saved and used whenever needed. For example, instead of writing a new custom message each time you want to send out a club meeting reminder, you can instead create a custom email template. This way, you will be able to reuse the custom template and quickly and easily send out reminders to your club. To get started creating and editing email templates, you are first going to need to log in to your organization's member area. Once you're logged in, click on Communication in the top navigation menu, and then Email Services just below. This will bring us to the club communication page, where on the left-hand side of the page, we'll see a couple different tools that are available to us. In this case, we're going to want to click on Email Templates. From here, we will be able to see a list of our existing email templates. For now, let's go ahead and create a new template. Click on the Add New Template button to continue. We are now on the Add Message Template page, where we can begin creating and writing our new email template. First, let's enter the name of our email template. This will be the internal title of our template that we will see on the Templates page, or when selecting our email templates while composing an email. Next, we can enter our subject line. Unlike the name we just entered, the subject line will be seen by your recipients. We recommend using a descriptive subject line so that your recipients can tell what is inside your email. Underneath the name and subject line fields, you'll see a section titled Insert Mail Merge Fields. Mail Merge Fields allow you to insert personal information such as a recipient's name into your email. Let's say you'd like to include your recipient's address within the body of your email. Without mail merge fields, you will need to manually type out each recipient's address and send out individual emails, one at a time. To insert a mail merge field, click on one of the drop-down menus, select your mail merge field, and then click on the Add button. The mail merge field will then be inserted into the body of your email, wherever your cursor was, as you can see here. Now let's continue to write out our email. Utilizing this toolbar and text field, we can compose and format our email message template, just like you would when composing an actual email. In this case, I have gone ahead and inserted additional mail merge fields, as well as the rest of the body of our email. Once you have finished composing your new email template, Simply click on the Save button at the bottom right corner of the page to finalize your changes and save your new email template. If you'd like to make any changes to your email template later on, click on the Actions drop-down menu and then select the Edit option. This will reopen your email template and will allow you to make any changes once again. Remember to save any changes you make by clicking on the Save button once again. There are also a few other options as well under the Actions drop-down menu. For example, the Make Default option will set your email message template to the default text that will appear when you compose a new email. Preview will allow you to take a look at what your email will look like after it's been sent out. The Copy option creates a new copy of our email template and uses it at a starting point for a similar email template. Finally, Delete will remove your email template. Please note that after an email template has been deleted, it cannot be recovered, so be careful when deleting any templates. Now that we've created our email template, we can quickly go over how to actually use it. First, we'll need to go back and create a new email. To do this, on the left-hand side of the page, click on Manage Emails, and then click on the Compose New Message button. This will bring us to the Create Email page where we can start composing our new email. Now that we're on the Create Email page, you'll find a section that says Templates and Merge Fields. In this section, you'll find a Select Template drop-down menu. Click on it and you'll be prompted to select between system-generated email templates or the club's own custom email templates. In this case, we want to click on the Custom option. This will bring up a new drop-down menu. Click on it to expand and view a list of all of the available custom email templates. From this list, select your email template that you'd like to use, and then click on the Insert button. This will bring up this confirmation box. Simply click OK to continue. 
As you can see, our email template has been entered into the text field and is ready to go. You can now continue on with the rest of the email creation process. Thank you for joining me today in learning about Clubrunner email templates. Feel free to check out any of our other video tutorials on our clubrunnersupport.com website. Take care.